What is going on everybody? We are gonna do a little Halloween craft here. Uh, we got this little birdhouse. Hopefully, maybe a little tiny bird could live in there, I don't know. But we got this from the Dollar Tree and we are gonna make it a Halloween birdhouse. Super simple and I wanna show you this because this airbrush right here, starter kit, setup, perfect for beginners is on Kickstarter right now, fully funded. I'm about to announce a new stretch goal as well. So let's check it out. I'm gonna turn it on, keep it a little bit out of, out of the way just so it's a little less loud for the camera, but this is as loud as it is on low. Make sure it's... So not too bad. Pretty darn quiet, honestly, in a normal environment. It's not rattling. So here we go. Let's check out the airbrush. We're going to go ahead with alcohol-based inks. And they are super easy to use because you can clean them with rubbing alcohol. You can reactivate them with rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is cheap. These are cheap. And they're not going to clog the airbrush because if you clog anything, you can just clean it out with the rubbing alcohol. So let's go ahead and see if we can make something pretty cool here. We're just gonna use orange and black, but of course, depending on your project, you may want other colors. I'll also link the uh, inks in the uh, comments below. So yeah, we're just gonna put some orange on. And I'm not doing this super precise. You could get in there and, you know, really. But we're just going to sort of hose it down, I think. We just want that bright orange, like that. And we'll move on to the other side. And yeah, let me know in the comments below if you work on any crafts or if you repaint any decorations that you might buy at the Dollar Tree. Super fun. Super relaxing. And with a tool like this, it's super easy. Oh, I'm spilling. Let me wipe that off. And yeah, we're just going to go through. Hopefully you will use this time to go down there and hit the thumbs up. Hit the uh, comment button. Tell me what you're working on. Are you planning on going to any conventions this year Halloween conventions are super fun I think I might go to Mask Vest we'll see I don't know what we're gonna do I guess we'll just paint that so there you have it there's our orange house and well, it looks like we actually did a little overspray on top there but I'm just gonna pour in some rubbing alcohol and in an old t-shirt, you can sort of backflow, dump it out, use your finger, give it a clean. Hold the needle back and wipe inside there. Great. You can see I'm actually spilling quite a bit because I'm not sort of paying attention to the camera, but it's been running down here when you're, <laughs> you know, trying to catch it on film. But let me just put a little bit more rubbing alcohol in. Make sure that is out. And yeah, we'll go ahead and switch to the other color. So here we go. We got our orange base on. Let's go ahead and close that up. And we're just gonna switch over to black. And yeah, it's like a little goth birdhouse for a little tiny bird. So if you got some tiny, tiny birds, oh, I haven't opened this one yet. Uh, these always kind of explode a little bit, but I use this big uh, safety pin. Let's see how much it wants to, eh, not too bad. You can see it popped a little, but we contained it. So. Let's go ahead and shoot some black. 
And I'm not too worried about overspray. This is just a fun little craft project for the video. Maybe I'll sell it at a little garage sale or something. But yeah, we're just shooting this in and I just want to show you how easy it is to customize these little wooden crafts with the airbrush set up here. And I'm not being overly accurate or worried about accuracy. But we'll try to, you know, keep it relatively nice looking, I guess. There you go. I think it's looking pretty good already. And the black is kind of working like a sort of a shadow in the orange. Going with like complementary colors. Shooting it with like a dark blue would have been cool as well. Oh, <laughs> see, I'm. Sp That's my fault. I'm not. I'm having it tilt almost completely upside down. So we got a little spill on the orange. But don't worry, I don't think the birds are going to care if they decide to live here. There you go. Let's move on to the bottom, and I think we could just call it done. Hopefully, little crafts like this are something you're interested in. And please, if you are into Halloween and crafts, go ahead and check out the Kickstarter, because I would love for you to support the project. And hopefully... You'll make some really cool stuff. So there you have it. Just uh, I'm just going to finish up the sort of remaining ink in my hairbrush. And yeah, that's pretty cool, right? It was just a boring old uh, birdhouse, and now it is the goth Halloween house. <laughs> so let's go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. I'm just going to clean this using normal rubbing alcohol spraying it few through a few times and yeah that's it it's super easy um we got some paint build up there and we spilled so we'll wipe that down as well but make sure you subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one let me know in the comments below what you want to see next